Hello friends, welcome to this new tutorial. Today I have here this uh, Note 20 Ultra 5G. So it's a late uh, unboxing for this device, but I just decided to take a look at it and see how it looks like. And this will be a quick uh, review about this uh, product. And uh, later on we may uh, have a detailed uh, review about all the functions inside all right so first let's open this box all right so this box let me see what is in here mm -hmm. see ejector let's see what else is inside this box yeah the user guide Usually we don't read these things. <laughs> All right, so this is the same ejector. All right, so this is the flagship, the Samsung flagship Note for the moment. So there is nothing higher than this. And as you see, this is a Black Mystic. And So let's take this box here. Wow, it, it's lighter. It's lighter than the Note Ultra. Hmm. Also, is, I see that my my finger here reaches this corner here, which can, which is like good. It uh, protects the phone from slipping from the hand. Yeah, here we have the Samsung logo and something there. All right, so here in the bottom we have we have the stylo, the S Pen. It's black to match the phone color. Yeah, it's it's supposed to be here on this side because when you are holding the phone to take the stylo from here, it's much easier. But they put it on this side. I don't know. They may, yeah, maybe it's because uh, because of there is no space here because of the camera. Maybe there are, uh, because there is no space here to answer the pen. You see? Mm, yeah, it may be. All right, so no headphone jack, by the way. No headphone jack. And the uh, charging port is a C type or type C. And here we have the speaker. And there is a hole here for the microphone also we have here another hole for the microphone the sim card is here so the sim card tray is inside here so to pop up the display this piece here we're gonna use the sim ejector i'm trying to get the sim ejector from here sorry for the noise in the background all right, so this is the SIM ejector. Make sure don't use this SIM ejector here. It may fit, but you may damage your uh, your microphone. So make sure you are popping up the SIM tray, not on this hole. Okay, it may be confusing. All right, here we have uh, we have SIM card, and you can here uh, put the memory card. And let me see, on this side we have here nothing, no buttons or anything. And on this side we have the power button and we have the volume up and the volume down. Okay, so that's that's a quick review about the about the body. So now let's turn it on. Alright, so this is the phone. Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G. It's a long name. <laughs> All right, so while we are waiting for this one, let's check what else we have in the box. So we have we have this uh, fast uh, fast charger. It comes with the C type uh, port and this is very fast. Okay. Yeah, it's very fast. Yeah, that means it's gonna charge your phone like uh, in 70 minutes or one hour. If you are using this one, I think it will be 70 minutes. Yeah. Also here in the box we have 
we have the yeah this is the type uh, type c cable for both ends so no usb uh, no usb uh, port here i mean end so both are c type that means you're gonna put this one here and you're gonna put the, the other end here on the phone and both you can doesn't matter if you put this one on the adapter or this one on the phone so it's gonna it's the same thing you know all right so let's see what else we have in this box nothing hey that's it nothing 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 so only the cable so no uh, no headphones no adapter nothing all right so let's continue here with the phone i'm just gonna activate this phone quickly by the way as you see the screen respond to the tap so if you want to turn on the screen you can push the power button here but there is another option you can just tap here twice let me see if it's gonna work with one tap no so you need to tap twice twice all right so let's activate this phone language so here so here we have the terms and conditions mm -hmm. sending diagnosis data, data information like in so i uh, i have read i need to remove this one and this one those are uh, optionals you can select you can select them next and here we need to connect it to the wi-fi i'm not going to connect it to the wi-fi i'm just going to skip skip anyway copy data uh, i'm just gonna uh, don't copy so i'm just gonna skip i just want to go to the home screen okay so next uh, accept okay let's i, I want to go back to this step here use location allow scanning uh, send users uh, so this one I, I i removed it in the beginning but they trick me and they put it here again so let me turn this off i don't want to send my information or any diagnostic data to anyone install updates okay accept all right here we have the face recognition we have the fingerprint the fingerprint is here in the middle you can set it up and you can use a pattern like things like this and you can use a pin pin it's like uh, four digit or six digit numbers and the password is going to be a complicated one skip skip anyway and here you can uh, put your samsung account i'm not going to put my samsung account for the moment skip and here we have a new way to interact with bixby yeah i see that the bixby button is not here anymore which is not which is good because we don't use it anyway but some people use it anyway so we have here samsung pay samsung cloud bixby galaxy team spotify samsung past uh, galaxy store skills here we need to sign into samsung account if we wanna if we want to get this information but i'm just gonna skip here and we're all done so finish all right so this is the main screen all right the phone is on now so we do like this to see all the apps that comes with the phone and the first thing we're gonna check is the camera so this is the camera let's put this thing here mm -hmm. so we have here these options we have the we have the five uh, five time uh, zoom and we have here the regular zoom and we have here the one time zoom as you see anyway so this is just like a quick uh, let me see what else let me see here okay so the camera gives you here it gives you up to one eight 108 megapixel quality so you can select it from here and you have the full full screen also this is very good option all right so uh yeah and here we have the we have the front facing camera so i'm not gonna turn it on all right i think that's pretty good and that's all what we're gonna review today i forgot to talk about the cameras so we have the here we have the first camera here is the one uh, 108 108 uh, megapixel and the second one here I think it's the 16 uh, megapixel and this one is the 12 megapixel 
and we have here laser uh, detector and flashlight and uh, we're gonna review all these things later on i'm gonna make another video to uh, go about all the details by the way this phone comes in like uh, i think four colors mystic white mystic black uh, mystic uh, bronze i think and uh, i think it's in green as well all right so that's all i hope that you enjoy this uh, quick review about this phone by the way the corners are uh, are picky here so i don't like this kind of corners but with the note it's always like this all right guys so thanks for watching i hope that you enjoyed this video if you like it please hit the, hit the hit the like button and share this video with friends and uh, wait uh, subscribe for more videos and also subscribe for a full review about all the details about this phone all right so see you in the next video